Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. You ain't gonna stop until you hit champion, are you? Well, good. The blue team needs as much glory as we can get. Yeah, we're doing more of this. After that, I'm not sorry. Match, this one should feel like a vacation. <laughs> one Khajiit in a heavy raiment, probably with a sword. Nothing you can't handle. Yep. We need somebody to go murder this big cat, and you look like just the man for the job. Or Mer. Okay. Good people. Might switch back to well, actually, let's see what's let's see what's leveling up. Ooh, Blade's close to leveling up, so. Hand to hand is way further away. Oh, and maybe also we should. Yeah, just get a couple of those. Yeah. You almost have to feel bad for the yellow team's Khajiit, for the blue team's <laughs> You almost it's have to feel bad. And love. Let's see how they fare. Damn, all right. Your damage is pretty good, sir. Wow, yeah. N nothing quite like running away from a guy and use and just spamming your default healing spell. You're an ugly cat, dude. Take that. This is oh, and you're healing, huh? Let me get some. It's like almost weird how much fun I'm having with this. Like. You would think that this whole game would be about, like, fighting and, and killing and exploring new areas. Hell yeah. All hail the combatant from the blue team. What's that the for? Team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. Okay. A what now? I've walked by this thing like 10 times now. I've never looked at it. Basin of Renewal. Oh, you watch the grime from a battle from your body and feel rejuvenated. Oh, it's just a full heal. Or probably a full heal. You showed that cat whose claws are sharper, eh? <laughs> I would expect no less. Here's your gold. Now go wash up. You look awful. Aw, he was... Now he's really caring about me. What's a gladiator without an arena to fight in? So get up there and start cracking some skulls. Besides, one more fight and you'll advance again. The next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's deadly with a blade. <laughs> he has more experience than you, so be prepared. <laughs> Though he was like, ooh, he's a little bit of a silly guy. <laughs> but he's for real. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here. Oh, yeah, we bumper. didn't talk to this guy. Most people just call me. Ah, Great Prince. so you're an arena combatant. It's always good to meet a fellow warrior, especially one who isn't here just to kill the grand champion. <laughs> yeah. I imagine there are a lot of people here who just show up because they're like, I want to be the I want to be number one. I'm the reigning grand champion. Oh, it's of you. The arena, you see. Once you become a champion, you'll need to challenge I see. me for my title. It's a fight to the death. So if you progress that far, <coughs> want a shot at the grand championship. You'll have to try and kill me. Okay. Yes, it's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. Half orc? I am a lord's son. 
Yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have I didn't know that that was a thing. Prince, noble in my own right. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. I may be able to help. I grew up here in the Imperial City, but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus and resided at Leviticus. his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. Hmm. The Lord and my mother grew close and ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the lady learned of my birth, she was furious and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. Go on. My mother died recently. Before she passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth, Crowhaven. Crowhaven is a ruined fort far to the west of here. I'd go myself, but my training regiment doesn't allow for the luxury of such the an excursion. luxury. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me, you can't learn these moves in a book. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I've got some guys to kill, so maybe later. I'm like, I've got my hands on the bar, so I'm just shaking them back and forth. I'm like, ah, ah let me kill. It's been so long since I've killed. I need to kill again. This one's just a little peekaboo boxing, you know. You'll never leave this arena alone. I'm just coming up, you pathetic world. Ooh, ooh. You'll never take me down. Okay, let's not get greedy. Go for two. There we go. I'm aware that I can use the uh, the 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 basin of of whatever it was to to heal myself, but like I do kind of just like healing myself with magic because then I can get the magic levels off. Though I can also just use it to refill my my magic. By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. Hero, huh? Cool. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. Mm-hmm. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. Yellow he team heroes. Very long sword. Oh. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down. Your damn head. Word. However, I'm also a trained swordsman, and I have protected the Emperor. Oh, they don't let me? No. Maybe it's because I started a new one. Let's get some of that on there. Can I make potions right now? Certainly can.
All right. Welcome to the arena. I don't even know what I made. As two heroes meet in the fighting pit for an epic battle worthy of song, combatants begin. Two heroes. I learned recently that there was actually a guy whose name was Hero. I think his name was like Hero of Athens. Because, you know. Let's see about that. Oh, right. Getting little uh, flashbacks to Dragon Age 2 here. You know, running from the Aeroshock. Yes, I am. Look, I've got a life lead on you. And I know how to use magic, and I don't think you do. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All hail the combatant from the blue team. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You. Cool. That's what we wanted. I'm a busy man. What is it? Did I drop a shield somewhere in here? Stop talking already. Oh, cool. I can get fresh ones. Wait, maybe this is stealing. Doesn't look like it is. Someone who's a journeyman, fix that up, please. Defeating an arena hero is one thing, but defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the divines or something, my friend. <laughs> You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the yellow team. Now go give them what they want. Okay, hero. This next opponent high elf is a wizard. high elf wizard. A master in the school of destruction. But wait. A master like in game terms, a master? He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages, Great which gives him some ages. serious Rut magic row. resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight in. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. Hmm. Oh, he said ashes. Does that mean you're going to use fire magic on me? Because I, I love fire magic. Put your hands and your voices together for the two brave heroes who have come to rock the very foundations of this arena. Lower the gates! One thing that I like about KOTOR is that, like, there's less combatants, but each one has more stuff going on. Yep, that's a fire spell. Yeah, that did nothing to me, sir. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing, though. Oh, my God. It's like one of the shortest fights yet. God damn. I'll be honest, hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's Hell yeah. You're at the end of a long road, hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being named champion. But not grand champion. That arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the yellow team to its knees. <laughs> All right. This is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. Hmm. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. 
two lower level combatants plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three, and you get named. Champion. It's kind of funny that like he, he's they're so get up violent. There and show everyone why you're the best. You know, in their despisement oh, wait, of the yellow team. Thing. I sent pork chop the boar up to the arena to help. Pork you chop out. the boar. You'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now, good luck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that's nice that I'm at least getting a little help now. I'm not getting like you know a guy who can hold a weapon, but like you know, I'm getting a little help. That's cool, though. Maybe we'll see what those big doors are. Oh, yeah. Good there he is. The Pork chop. That's so funny. He says it so casually. As, but, like, I've never heard that before. And, like, I have to I, I have to adjust my brain to the fact that this thing is called Pork Chop the Boar. Oh, that's, that's really good. So, champion probably challenges the grand champion, I imagine. Where's the other one? Wow, damn. Oh my god, you're dead. Oh, you were a pit dog. I don't even know where the other one went. Yeah, weren't there supposed to be three? Oh, there you are. You're archery. Oh, you're a blood letter. Okay, so you're not nothing. You're just far below where I was. Oops, sorry, pork chop. Please Die, damn you. You're the best distract her or something. That's an ebony bow, goddamn. Look, I know at some point there's going to be a billion of those and I'm going to be throwing them away, you know, for more space in my inventory, but... Show me what you got. Yeah, let's do peekaboo. Yes. By Shinji. This is the wrong one, isn't it? Yes. Okay, no, it's not. Cool. The Blade Master. Well done. Thank you for the help, Pork Chop. I wonder if he's gonna mention Pork Chop. That would really That would really make this whole thing, I think. Hell yeah. Okay. You did it. You beat them every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> Damn. My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all. You're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches. Mm -hmm. You're still the grand champion. Yeah. Kid, you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the great prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. Well, I'm doing a favor for him first. Do a hard save. Let's also have an hour nap, just in case. I really like how the... um. Now that I'm out here, I actually really like how these cities are, like, super mondo huge. Um, do, 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 do. Origin of the Grey Prince. And then look at the map. Oh, wait, no. I should leave first. And then, where does it tell me? It tells me this way still? Um, send me on a quest to find the proof of his birthright. Go west. Okay, so it literally just says west. Okay, so I can just go west. Uh, if that's the case, then... I feel like I've already been here. Let's uh let's just go on a quest then. Oh, 
Oh, it's slightly southwest now. I guess this might be a little higher up. Slightly. Okay. Oh, let's put a torch on. <laughs> there we go. Gonna have to buy more of those soon. Can't wait until I can fix enchanted gear. Okay, we heading west. I've come off of this experience very positive. I actually had things to complain about, but like in this in this, you know, arc of the of the of the anime, you know, of just doing doing the arena battles. I'm very pleased about it. Wind cave. Also, I feel very good having sold all of the shit in my inventory, all of the potions. Cuz I mean, yow. A gate to oblivion. I'll do this one off screen, actually. All right. I fought through almost all of it on my own. I found a lot of really good stuff. Long sort of jinxing. That sounds cool. I used it a little bit. It's pretty great. I found the um, Quirus of Elephant. And these gold trimmed insane uh, shoes. Oh, you're a guy. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, I think because I've hit new levels, I'm getting more stuff now. And so these are actually like scamps now, like regular scamps. Because this is a stunted scamp and I'm actually getting some like normal scamps. So presumably, and, and they're actually dropping scamp skin. Ooh, flame watch knock. Um, and now they're actually dropping scamp skin. And I, I imagine that like the really weak lame scamps didn't. So that's cool. I forget what the um, Morrowind flame watch knocks look like. These ones that look like, it looks like they're in, in the middle part of like, they want to have the cool sexy flame watch knocks, but like this game doesn't have the graphics to really support that. Sub adjacent. Oh, is this going to be like a thing where at some point it's going to be like, please bring 10 sigil stones to me, Sean Bean. And I'm going to be like, Sean, I'm just the man for the job. Check this out. I'm going to dump out all the all the oblivion marbles I've gotten. All right. Well, that was fun. It was okay. Now that I'm getting multiple um like several good uh quality magical items, I'm I'm starting to use them a little more. I think I might need to sell this uh Kvach tunic. Because I don't know if I'm close to being a journeyman. Also, that's red. I don't know how close I am to being a journeyman, but... Let's see here. Armor, right? Armor and repair are the same thing now. And I'm a novice at it. Yeah, and this sword has broken a couple more times again already. I imagine it might be a thing of like, yes, katanas are good. Who's there? Who the hell are you? But yeah, it might be a thing of like, yes, katanas are, are going to be good. Oh, you're just like a guy. But the problem with the katana will be that, like, as in the real world, it's really, really weak. And it's, like, definitely going to break.
Hmm. It's a pretty penny, so... Oh yeah, we got a lot of these now. Some anti-magic potions. Okay, it's being weird. Okay. All right, now that I'm out of the arena and I'm not having as much fun, gotta say, I'm, like, not super sure about the whole, like, Oblivion Gate system because, like, this realm of Oblivion isn't really that cool. It's kind of boring and lame and... <gasps> It looks ugly, and it's dark, and it's hard to navigate, and, like, I've been in, like, what, five of these things now? They all look, they all look the same. They, they don't look very different. Man, what the fuck is this thing? Is this a big oblivion gate? It says just a gate. It's so huge, though. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I'm now at the level where, like... Clan fears are spawning. My old friends from uh, Morrowind, the guys that look like Triceratops on, on two legs. Really? Enchanted item does not have enough juice in it. Okay. So this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good too. Yeah, Axe is now just blunt, right. You know, you obviously get a lot of the stuff of like, oh, you know, Skyrim, the, the quest system in Skyrim is so bad, you just follow the magical arrow and follow wherever that goes and follow wherever that is. But like, I'm doing that in this game right now, dude. <laughs> like, I think you just don't like Skyrim. Also, I've played enough Morrowind to know that Morrowind's system of telling you where to go is dog shit. Like, just straight up reading... Oh, hi. Just straight up reading somebody's instructions of go really far west until you see a river and then turn south. And then maybe you'll be there. Like, they're not written in a terrible manner, but it's just really weird. And I feel like it's just not, like, it's not done for the sake of immersion. You may find it immersive, but it's not done for that reason. They did it because they don't have the budget or money to code quest markers. And they clearly wanted to do that in every other game, because all other games after Morrowind have them. There's this really interesting concept to talk about in game design that you can really only see when a sequel comes out. Um, although now we're starting to see it with large story DLCs. If a game does not like what it has done, it will not bring it back in the DLC or sequel. Um, and so I cite Bloodborne as a really good example of this. Bloodborne has a couple things that really just drive people up the wall about it. It has the Chalice Dungeons and the fact that there's a bunch of bosses hidden in those. A bunch of cool content as well. It has the blood gem system and it has grinding for blood vials your main healing item um there have been elements of those in the other games but they're very very strong in bloodborne and the thing is is that there's not that much new um blood gems in the dlc and they never brought that element back in dark souls 3 the game that came out afterwards and like you know granted they might not have brought it back because it wasn't in Dark Souls 1 or 2. They wanted to stay consistent, but, you know. They also didn't do it in Sekiro. Which was the next new IP that they did after Bloodborne. And the game after Dark Souls 3. 
Um, what's going on here? Who the hell are you? Marauder Battle Mage. You're just some guy. Oh, what's wrong? Ooh, nice. Um, and there's no new Chalice Dungeon content in any of the games. And most specifically in the DLC. Um, and those are things that really make me, like, you notice that, you know? Like, hey, not only did they not... Like, we didn't like the system, but we didn't have to engage with it after the base game came out. After that, they started doing a bunch of stuff to try to fix that. And they never went back to a lot of those things in later IPs or games. Golden Coast. Nice. Um, and so it's a thing of like, you look at the, you look at the, um, sequel of a game and you can find something out about the game. And it's why you have like quality of life stuff to hack new game things into previous entries. Like, um, oh, I don't know, like a mod for Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood Ow. that puts in the hook blade. Um... Or, like, giving you proper lightsaber use in Star Wars, the one about Kyle Katarn. I forget what the hell those games are all called. Jedi Academy, colon, Jedi Outcast, colon, Dark Forces, colon, Star Wars. Yeah, it's like the first Dark Forces, I think. Coding that so you have a lightsaber is, like, that's kind of cool. Um... Kiara, huh? Not who I'd expect. How are you? What do you want? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Mm. Ooh, let me take some of your some of these off your hands. Oh, I should um actually I'll finish what I'm saying. So anyway, what, what I'm saying is is that like you bought that. For People are like, oh, you know, you really got to play Morrowind with the uh, with the really weird hit detection and and like weird dice roll system for your attacks on because that's developer intended but like is it though because in every game after that they didn't go back and do it they hated it and they never went back to do it again and i think about how people are like yes the developers love the idea of the immersion the the you know the game feel of somebody telling you which way you're supposed to go and you know you following their directions as best you can yada 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 but like they they That's put more than I like pay. very clear and like honest markers in every game after so they probably wanted to do it in that game an excellent problem. and they probably like couldn't you know That's just not reasonable Oh you what now Oh you need to make a better offer. You got a great deal there. That seems a fair. But yeah, I'll I'll keep walking a little bit of the way. I don't need this potion now. That's a fair deal. Thank you. Um, You're I'll walk a little bit more, but until then, un until I find something actually new, we'll just uh, I'll just do it off screen. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. I've been Alpha. This has been Oblivion. I hope you enjoyed.